How you doing guys, how are things? Um, we've started to test this knife now, it was recommended to me by Alan Kay. Uh, if you don't know Alan Kay, he was the winner of the first season of Alone, and he's a, an avid Kukri fan. Uh, I myself, I haven't used Kukris very much, and this is a, I suppose, a bit of a modern take on a Kukri. It's made by Tops. Um, I don't have a lot of Tops knives, but the one Tops knife I do have i put through hell and that's a, a tracker, it will always be the Tom Brown tracker will be one of my favourite knives of all time. So I'm guessing this is going to be a very very tough knife. It has about an 8 inch blade, it's quarter inch thick, it's hefty, big handle which suits me. And uh, so we, we used it yesterday uh, for a fire by friction, we used a bow drill divot. One thing I really like about this knife, uh, there's a bow drill divot on both sides of the handle which is great for any of us lefties out here okay so we're going to do a bit of batten with this this is very hard seasoned timber so we'll see how we get on with it it's even hard to get into it Right guys, I'm going to have to look for another more heavier duty batten and I'll come back to this in a second. Okay guys, round two, I'm going to have to get in a better batten there. <clears throat> Let's hope this lasts. As I said, this, this knife is very, very robust and you can hear this timber is, you know, it's heavily seasoned. Now I have to say, first impressions on this, it, it, it battens really well, it's that quarter inch thick, once it bites into it, you're home and hosed. So we're, hit, we're hitting straight onto, down onto a knot here. At the end of the day, the type of knives that I go for are survival knives, strong, robust knives. Um, I don't really care how pretty the knife is. I just wanted to do what it's meant to do. Um, and the knives that would feature high up on my list would be knives like SE5, the Top Tracker, the Papa Bear. These are all great knives and similarly constructed. Um, I can't tell you, or can't describe to you on the video how robust this knife feels in the, in the hand. Now, for someone that would ordinarily pick up a, a knife and go, God, that you know that feels very, very robust. I, I'm a guy that would be usually using trackers, SE5s. This feels robust. So I'm just going to batten down this stuff into smaller stuff and I'll come back in a minute, okay guys? Okay, so we've battened down to stuff smaller, we made feather sticks with it. I knew it would make good feathers, that, that kind of a recurve obviously seems to suit feather. So we have our wazoo here now, we're just going to spark it up. Okay, as I said before, I always wear my wazoo. They're great, as you can see there. Um, very handy. I always have a little ferro rod on you. And uh, they do work fantastic. The, the wazoo is not a gimmick. I would recommend anyone that's into survival or bush they, should, they should really be wearing one. It's not very expensive. And, you know, you just you, you have to confidence that you have a, a little ferro rod on you at all time. Okay guys, we're going to be testing this further now over the, the next while. Uh, like I mean, my initial thoughts on it, I haven't put a lanyard on it yet, but I'm not, like I mean, I know this is going to chop. This is heavy. It's a heavy, heavy knife um, and it will do heavy work. Uh, Alan Kay is a big fan of this knife, even though he spent his time um, 
on a loan with a with a Condor Coupe, and um, I remember he said to me that it, uh, in a Facebook message that he believes that this would be a more resilient knife than the Condor, um, and I, and I can really feel that now, and it, it's it's great. And any of you guys out there that have big hands, this this is a great knife, you know. Um, I definitely, I think I might be using this exclusively for about three or four weeks now and we'll see how we get on with it. But as I said, my initial response, and it takes me a while to warm to a knife um, and I have this about a month now uh, and I haven't really been using it to be honest, but today is the first time I've really heavily used it and it's, you know, it's greasing the groove straight away, I like this. Okay guys, we'll see you soon, take care.